Now, the United Nations says countries should work together to improve access to sufficient sanitation and clean water. The message is the central theme of this year's World Water Day. According to the UN, two and a half billion people don't have access to even basic sanitation. That's about a third of the world's population. Every 20 seconds around the globe, a child dies, and that's because of poor sanitation. In Africa, 300 million people live in water-scarce environments. And funding as well for infrastructure there is falling short by $115 million each and every year. The result is devastating. 115 Africans are dying every hour from diseases linked to poor sanitation as well as unclean water. Let's uh, bring in Liberia's president, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. Uh, she's also a UN Goodwill Ambassador for Water, Sanitation and Hygiene in Africa. And she's joining us on Al Jazeera. President Sirleaf, it's very good to have you with us on Al Jazeera, especially today on World Water Day. Now, I was just going through these statistics that are quite dire. Uh, you're calling for the world to commit to a new global target uh, to provide water, sanitation and hygiene for everyone by the year 2030. How are you going to do that? What type of action are you talking about here and what will be done differently from the past years? I think we need to recognize um, access to water, sanitation and hygiene as a development imperative. We need to see that it makes economic sense and we need equity. And this is why today I and many others are joining the Prince of Orange who has devoted many years of his life promoting access to water and sanitation in the celebration of Water Day. We'll be looking at how we can change attitudes, how we can bring more resources through budgetary support to access to water sanitation and hygiene. We'll be examining the outcomes of the thematic consultation that was promoted by Liberia, Jordan, um, Mozambique, and the Netherlands. And uh, we'll be talking about water being the source of life. And even though, President Sirleaf, the United Nations had, has said that the Millennium Development Goals on water was reached five years ahead of schedule, it's still a big, big problem. Nearly one in ten people uh, lack access to safe drinking water and one in three are lacking adequate uh, sanita sanitation. That's so very true. Two billion people now have access to clean water, but then 800 million people still don't have. That's one out of ten people. Sanitation is even worse. As you mentioned, 2.5 billion people have access, do not have access to safe toilet facilities as one out of three persons in the world. And uh, the equity of it, most people who do not have access are the poor, those who are marginalized. And this is why one has to put more emphasis on it. There was a lot of interest, uh, President Shirley, for, uh, when we uh, told our viewers and our online audience that we would be speaking to you on World Water Day. Uh, we had a lot of questions coming in, so let me just put one question to you from our social media community. And uh, this person says, with a large part of the Liberian population uh, lacking access to effective running water, what have you done in your eight years of presidency to improve uh, this sector for your own people? Clean, safe access to drinking water and sanitation is, in fact, still out of reach for many Liberians, is it not? Access is still out of reach for many Liberians, but we've made great improvement. Since 2006, uh, when access was much below 30 percent, uh, the latest we have is that some 60 percent are now have access to clean water. In sanitation, we're not doing so well less than 10 percent when this government started. Today we're at 18 percent, a long way to go. Uh, we also believe in uh, regional cooperation in the use and management of water, and that's why we have joined with Sierra Leone. We have now completed uh, our program for access to sanitation. We have now completed our strategies. Uh, we now have our training program to enable more people to work in the water sector. And so progress is there, but challenges remain. Okay, and another question for you. How can we better distribute water to those who need it and regulate the industrial waste of water? We need to put more emphasis. We need more resources. You know, in the, um, we have all declared that some 5% five, 5 of our GDP should be used on improvement in water and sanitation. We have not met those targets. 
And this is why uh, we must all go back and work regionally and work um, globally uh, to be able to address this problem, to see it really uh, as a human right. And uh, let me just ask you, uh, going forward, uh, to meet the goals that you have set by 2030, how difficult will it be to get everyone on board? It will take some time. It will take training. It will take sensitization for people to realize the importance of water and the importance of sanitation. Um, most times we concentrate on what we call uh, the hard things, you know, building the roads and putting in power and making sure we have schools and hospitals and clinics. And sometimes we miss the basic. The basic is just to have access to clean water and it impacts everything else. It impacts health because you have better health. Most of our children die from diarrhea because of access to, to polluted waters. Uh, it helps education, our kids who go to school. If they don't have access to good sanitation, chances are they, they miss school because of that. And so if you look at it, everything will center around how do we make sure this one important condition of life that improves the quality of life gets the attention it deserves and the resources that it needs. All right, President of Liberia, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, thank you very much for joining us on Al Jazeera.